What's up everybody? Welcome to your 24th Android tutorial. And what we're going to do in this tutorial is basically polish up our uh, wallpaper app and then I'm going to explain again everything that we've done just in case you guys are still a little bit confused. But first of all, I just want to show you guys when we run our application as is right now and we switch our phone into landscape mode, basically this mode is portrait and if you hit 7 it goes into landscape mode, 7 on your numpad and for Windows users you just have to turn off your num lock and then hit 7 and it'll go into landscape and then 7 again to go into portrait or 9 I believe and as you can see when we go into this landscape mode we don't have our images down below that we can scroll through because it kinda changes our layout and we don't want that so basically what we're gonna do is we're gonna lock it into portrait mode so even when it's in landscape mode it's gonna display like this and then we're also gonna set our application to be full screen so it's a pretty sweet little useful tutorial especially when you're making games because you want it to be full screen and you know locked either in landscape or portrait view um, but and then, uh, and then like I said I'm gonna explain everything else that we've done just because it might be confusing so first thing I want you guys to do is open up your manifest and then find your activity tutorial 3 class again that's our wallpaper class and to set it up uh, basically a lock so it's either in portrait or landscape is pretty easy you just want to do that within your activity class or I'm sorry the opening little section of your activity so just create a little space for you to type one line of code type Android and then screen orientation and you can either set this to landscape or portrait um, and we're gonna use portrait and that's all we have to do and basically I'm gonna run that and then uh, we're gonna open up our tutorial 3 Java as that's, as that's uh, loading onto the emulator now I'm just going to show you quickly when we go into our wallpaper app now and hit 7 it's locked still so the users going to have to you know basically use it in this view and it just won't switch because it's locked into portrait you do that through the manifest like you just saw pretty simple the other thing we want to do is get full screen so we're going to open up our tutorial 3 java class or activity and within the onCreate method before the set content view we want to define basically let our activity know that we want it to be full screen so again this is before the set content view uh, we're gonna say request um, window feature because we can get some of the window features and request them basically um, pretty self-explanatory again it's kinda hard to remember all, all the methods that you can use but as you guys use them more often you'll you'll get familiar with them and it's pretty easy so we're gonna say request window feature and within here we're going to derive from the window class a method called feature no title so that will just get rid of our title for the most part and then we're just gonna you know semicolon finish it and then we need one other line of code just to make our activity full screen we're gonna say get window and uh, parentheses because it's a method if I can if I can type and then we're gonna say set flags and as you can see it takes an int named flags and also an int called mask so we're gonna go over that and I'm just ginna show you guys if you hover over here um, it kinda gives you well I guess it doesn't really give you a description I thought it did but uh, basically of what's looking for and so for the flags again this is gonna we're gonna set up an int right here we're gonna use from the window manager class and again I know I'm typing a lot and you're like how, how am I supposed to remember all this stuff you'll get familiar with it and Eclipse helps you out so we're gonna say Windows Manager dot and then it's called lay parameters layout parameters basically and then what we need to do is say dot and then we can use all these methods and we want one say uh, flag full screen and then we have basically our flag Int set up and then we want to set up our mask int. And again we're going to request from the window or just from the window uh, manager class we're going to set layout parameters just like before and we're also going to set the flag to full screen as well. So it's pretty much the same thing but uh, you have to set up both of those parameters so it will you know send it through but uh, 
I believe that's all. And uh, let's check out the app, and then I'll kind of run through everything we've done with our wallpaper app activity. Switch it over here. Hit button three. Bam, look at that. Full screen. That's what we're talking about. Quality HD right there. No annoying title bar. Just look. It looks a little bit cleaner. So that's how we get rid of our um, title bar and basically set the parameters to be full screen. So then when we set our content, um, basically these flags are setting, uh, letting our set content view know what it has to work with. If that makes sense. For some reason, I thought there was a uh, little bit more detailed description of. All right, maybe not, but that's okay. Now let's gonna, I'm just gonna quickly go through everything that we've done so far. And whoops, cancel. I'm gonna give this a uh, bigger, bigger screen here. All right, so we set up Tutorial Three, which is our wallpaper app, and we extended Activity Class, so we can use the on create, on pause, all those great methods. And then we implemented the onClick listener because we had a lot of things within our class that use the onClick listener. So we might as well define it all in one place. And we can set the context to this, and it'll go to this onClick listener that we implemented. And because we implemented the onClick listener, we had to use the method onClick. Because again, anytime you import or implement something, you have to use the methods. And then within our onCreate method, we first just in this tutorial we set up it to be full screen and what we did is we requested a window feature called no title so in that no title basically method or feature comes from the window class so we requested that probably got accepted and then we needed to kind of change the layout because uh, so our set content view know, knows what's going on so we're gonna say get the window basically the size for the most part and we're gonna set the flags of to be full screen both you know full screen and we do that through again the window manager class uh, layout parameters flag full screen and then we set our content view to the XML wallpaper and then we uh, set up this variable called to phone and it's basically gonna be a reference of our drawables and this to phone is gonna change every time we click a button or click an image view it's gonna change um, to be whatever our featured Im image is or the reference is going to change to whatever our featured image reference is for the most part so but we wanted to set that up first as at drawable back ac abstract because that's what our first image is when our ap activity starts then we set up a display image or we set basically up our our featured image and all of our image views and our button and uh, gave it just a reference to the XML. Then we set the onclick listener to, for all those things to this, which again is referring to this onclick method. Within our onclick method, we set up basically a case for each image that could be clicked or a button that could be clicked down here. And if an image was clicked, all it's going to do is set the displayed image or a featured image to whatever you know resource was clicked. Um, so if the second image was clicked, it's going to set the featured image to back apple, and it's also going to set our to phone again that variable that changed changes to uh, you know the same drawable reference. And then if our button was clicked down here, we need to set up an input stream, which is basically going to get the resources that we need from our activity so we can use it. So our import stream we called yeah, and it's just basically going to use a method called get resources open raw resource, and then it's going to use this reference or whatever reference our two phone image is, um, and it's going to that's what that what the, that's what the input stream is going to be, and then we set up a bitmap called whatever, and we use the bitmap factory class to decode the stream that we set up right here, uh, which was called yeah. So that's basically going to set up our bitmap. And then we want to try to set the wallpaper of the person's phone. So we're going to say try get application context. Again, referring to kind of the phone's hardware and software that we can use. So we're going to get that context, and there's a method within there called set wallpaper. 
and we're going to set it to whatever bitmap we set up right here. But you know, just in case if it doesn't work, we're going to use this catch exception, mainly for debugging, but um, we're using the IO exception, which stands for input output stream, and we call it E. And if it doesn't work, we're just going to say E print stack trace, which you guys don't really need to know about. It's more for debugging. So hopefully that kind of was a quick run through. You guys kind of understand everything that we did. It's not too complicated. Um, again, it's kind of hard to remember all of these, like you know, window manager dot layout parameters dot flag sc full screen comma you know that again what am I doing that for but you guys will get more familiar with that um, and this is kind of a good resource to have this whole tutorial series because if you're making a new app you can just come over here and copy and paste oh that's how I did that just copy and paste it and you guys will get more familiar with um, you know how, how to develop your app however you want so again thanks for watching guys thanks for subscribing thumbs up liking the video check out the form all that great stuff and I'll get I'll catch you in the next tutorial We'll uh, start basically a new activity. So, peace, guys.